Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use AND function in Excel. Let me show you how the AND function works. So I type AND in Excel. Now AND takes uh, logical arguments and it analyzes these logical arguments and if these are all true then AND returns true and if any of these arguments is a false then AND returns false. So in this case if I type true and true and hit enter and would return uh, true because both the arguments are true but if I oops if I type and and I true uh, type a true here and a false here then and returns a false because to this be true all the arguments should be true instead of typing I can have the trues and falses in cells and I can give their reference so here I can give the reference of a2 and a3 and it analyzes both these arguments and since one of them is false uh, and returns a false you can have inbuilt conditions within and formula so here if I analyze if 3 is greater than 1 and 3 is equal to 3 and would analyze both these conditions. Let me show you what this returns. So I select this part and I press F9 and you can see it returns a true here. Since I don't want to hard code this into the formula I press Ctrl Z. Similarly if I analyze this I know this will be true because 3 is equal to 3 so I press Ctrl Z to come back. Since both of these arguments are true and returns a true here Also, if a true is within double quotes, Excel considers it as true and same is the case with false as well. So even this is in a double quote and considers this as a logical argument, a logical value, true or false and hence, hence it returns a true. One very important thing to note here is that any value that is positive and an integer value would be considered a true by the AND function. So if you type anything uh, 1, 2 or 3 then AND would consider it as true. So if I type 3 here and 2 here since both of these are considered true by AND it would return a true here. And to show you how this works when I have a 0 if I type a 0 here and a 2 here this returns a false. The reason is that AND considers 0 as false. You can test these conditions by simply using one single argument. You can see AND returns a false with 0 but it returns uh, a true with 1. It would return a true with 2. What happens if you give decimals? If you give 1.5 it returns a true because this is a positive number. If you give 0 0.5 it still returns a true. So anything which is greater than 0 returns a true. So this is how AND function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.